Right, hi everyone. Okay, so uh, this is the next video of the ticker tape. Now, uh, for those of you who are in my class, actually we were supposed to do this experiment, right? So I asked you guys to actually take the ticker tape already, previously. So what happens here is that um, you guys did the experiment, okay? You did most of this. So the previous video, I already asked you guys to cut the strips into 10 ticks successfully. Okay? So, and paste it, and I did teach in the previous video how to paste it, right? So, um, once you have gotten that, please compare the length of the successive strips in the ticker tape. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is actually this part number 2. From the ticker tape chart, the first and the last 10 dots represents the average initial velocity and the final velocity. So determine the acceleration of the trolley. So I'm going to uh, teach you guys how to do this right now. Okay, so let's go back to our graph. Okay, this is our graph previously. So we have, this is called a ticker tape chart. Okay, um, so in this case we have nine strips. This is my first strip, number one, and this is my strip number nine. So the most important thing right now is um, that start, okay? So we are to find acceleration of the trolley. So which means it's the whole entire chart. Okay? So let's see, the first thing we need to do is number one. Time taken for one strip because previously we know that time taken for one tick is actually 0 0.02 seconds so but because we have each of these strips have 10 ticks so time taken for one strip is formula number of ticks times 0 0.02 seconds so we have 10 ticks multiplied by 0 0.02 okay so 10 times 0 0.02 I get 0 0.2 seconds okay so after that we need to find the initial velocity okay so Number two, okay, to find the initial velocity, which is u, is actually the first strip's length divided by this time taken for one strip, which is 0 0.2 seconds. So my first strip length. Here, that's why I used a graph. Okay, so this is two, this is three, so 3.1, 3.2. So the first strip is 3.2. Okay, so that would be 3.2 centimeter divided by 0 0.2 seconds. 3.2 divided by 0 0.2. I will get 16 centimeter per second. Okay, so that's the initial velocity. So the second one is final velocity, which is V. This is the last strip length. divided by 0 0.2 seconds so again go back to the graph my last strip number 9 this is 18 so that would be 18.1 18.2 so which means this is 18.2 oh okay sorry it's not supposed to be 18.2 because my value here is 18 and 20, so this is 18.4 cm. 
So correction, this is supposed to be 3.4. Okay, see, teachers also make mistakes, but we have to correct them. Every single time we do a mistake, we have to correct them. So 3.4 divided by 0 0.2, that would be 17. Okay, last strip length is 18.4. Point four centimeter divided by zero point two second. Okay, uh, eighteen point four divided by zero point two. That's ninety two centimeter per second. Okay, so next is actually to calculate uh, the acceleration because our acceleration formula is a to v minus u over t now the problem is this t okay this is actually the total time taken from the first strip which is from one all the way to nine okay so like the previous one our time taken is number of ticks minus one times 0 0.02 seconds so three this is four so time Taken for whole chart. Okay, we can't use number of ticks already over here. So because there are so many ticks over there, so it's number of strips minus one. Okay, because why minus one is because the time taken is supposed to be by average. So so we take it minus 1, okay? Times the time taken for one strip, which is 0 0.2 seconds. Okay? So how many strips we have? 9. So 9 minus 1 times 0 0.2. So that's 8 times 0 0.2. One point six seconds. Okay. So last but not least, number five is the acceleration. Formula V minus U over T. So V is ninety-two. U is seventeen. Divided by one point six centimeter per second. Unit second. 2 minus by 17 that's 75 centimeter per second divided by 1.6 seconds so my acceleration is 46.875 centimeter per second square so this is my answer Okay, so I hope you guys can actually do this working. So this is a solution for the trolley, which is for the whole entire chart. So from here to here, the trolley's acceleration is 46.875 cm per second. If you don't understand anything, you can drop me a message, a comment or anything. Uh, I'll get back to you as fast as possible. Alright, okay, good luck. Thank you, bye.